they turn on the lights and the cameras roll and the rain starts to pour while you pour out your soul. They color your hair. You have a few fears. They change a few lines while you shed a few tears. They give you the breaks. They give you the parts. So you make them all laugh and you break all their hearts. Then you do a new scene. Then again. Then it's done. Her love story started. Her life that's what happens in the movie. That's what happens in the movie. Well, you clever little twinkle toes, you. Just look at you. Why did you do that to me, your best friend, huh? Why? You know a ballet like that comes along once in a career, and you wanted it, that's all. You wanted it so bad that you lied to me, your best friend, to get what you wanted. That's exactly what happened. You lied and got the ballet and became a star. I got pregnant, had babies, and became a mother. And now you want to take my daughter away from me. And you say to me, but Dee Dee, I thought you'd be so pleased and thrilled that I would be willing to help Amelia become what you always wanted to become but couldn't. Wonderful. What you're really saying is you want Amelia to become like you. That's not possible. Oh, she's as good a dancer as you are. She's as talented, all right, and she works as hard. But there is one thing you are, dearest friend, that Amelia, poor darling, is not and never will be. And you know what that is? You are a killer. Yes, you are. Don't you walk away from me when I say that. You're a killer. You walk over anybody to get what you want and still have a good night's sleep. That's what you did to me. You walked right over me. You killed me. You killed my chances to find out if I could dance, if I could really dance. And now you want to get your hands on my daughter. Don't you walk away from me one more time. I'm not finished talking to you yet. I just want to watch you listen to me. You're amazing. You're absolutely amazing. Look at you the way you go on and on and on and on. You know what? You're over the hill. You're over the hill and you're terrified and you know it. All you've got are your old scrapbooks, your old toe shoes, and those stupid dumb little dogs you travel with. But well, what are you going to fill in the gaps with, huh? Not my daughter. You just keep your goddamn hands off of my daughter! She's not your patient. I would. Well, what, uh, pardon me. 
Hey, excuse me. It is after 10 o'clock. My daughter only has to hold out until 10, you see, and she is in a great deal of... No, I am not raising my voice! I want someone to pay some attention to this problem! My daughter is in a great deal of pain, and I don't understand why she has to have it! You get up out of that chair, and you go in that room, and you give my daughter that shot! So you get a great part, an incredible role, where you laugh and you cry, and you shatter your soul. At the end of each day, you drive home on your own. But the part that you're playing won't leave you alone. You get home at 10, make a big pot of tea. Your daughter is happily watching TV. She asks, you only know, that day went all right. You smile, you shrug, you kiss her good night. It's well after midnight, you're lying in bed. You try to forget all the lines that you've said. Yes, you try to forget all the pain that you feel. Three lamps are going to be out there on the dance floor. Thank God. It only happened in a movie. I've got it back. Thank God. It only happened in a movie. That's just the way things are.